Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And we're ready to bring you live coverage of this League One fixture. It's Fleetwood Town, and they take on Accrington Stanley. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Well, as far as the visitors are concerned, this is an exceptionally leaky defence. And, Stuart, something they're going to have to address. Well, I have to say, their defending has been really poor this season. No structure, a lack of leadership, and, dare I say, a lack of understanding. Unless that improves today, they won't get anything from this game. And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. Well, on paper, it looks a fairly cautious approach because unless their wing-backs can get into more advanced areas, I'm not sure where the attacking width will come from. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, I'm intrigued to see how their two midfield players cope in there today because they look very isolated. Yes, they're good athletes and skillful players, but it's asking an awful lot of them. And now they get the ball rolling. A really intense pressure applied. A wonderful intervention. Camps. It's with Garner. Callum Camps. Garner. Accurate pass upon accurate pass. Harry Pell. Moving the ball forward with purpose. It's with Pell. He could pick out a teammate. Or can they make one of these passes count? It is to be a throw in. Callum Camps. It's with Garner. Johnson. Now, what can they do from here? He continues his run. Can he finish? Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. Well, the pass not finding its target. Still passing it around with authority. And the flag does go up, must have been tight. And Morgan. Oh, he's really opened them up here. This is looking threatening. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Garner. It's with Garner. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Oh, that's a solid piece of defending when it looked as though it might go wrong for them. Morton 
is with Garner. Mastery of the passing game. Shielding the ball superbly. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Morgan. Butcher. McConville. Surely! And a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Aerial opportunity, couldn't take it. Well, he did well to get to the ball first, and he's unlucky there. He just got too much on it. Morton. Clark. And can they prize them open now? Fruitful looking attack. Oh, incredible save, and he snuffed out any sign of danger. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Clark. Morton. So there goes the half-time whistle, and it is a story of parity. Stewart, what have you made of the visitors' display? Yeah, their defending has been good today, such an improvement. And for me, the difference has been the centre-backs. They've made all the right decisions. Hopefully that continues in the second 45. Teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Callum Camps. Morton. It's with Garner. Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. And possibilities here. Callum Camps. Strength and control. A bit. He must finish! And the keeper showing tremendous command. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. Playing it in. Well, he took care of it defensively. Another corner conceded. What can they do with this one? Substitution time as is here. Played over. And fisted away.
Trying to deliver it accurately. No nonsense clearance. Tom Clark. And space for the cross. But nothing doing in an attacking sense. Well, possession seeded. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. And the keeper there to make sure nothing untoward happened. A complete miscue by the goalkeeper. Will there be a price to pay? Well, driven fiercely against the frame of the goal. Well, he struck it well enough, but that has to go down as a big miss. Well, they won't come closer than that, but they are creating chances and surely a goal is coming. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. And into the last 20 minutes. Well, just listen to this noise. How could you not be inspired by that? A tremendous vision. Fine cross into the middle. Well, no luck in terms of finding the target. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Well, the hosts have dominated the flow of the game in the last 15 minutes. But if there is to be a winner in this, you sense it's starting to become a matter of now or never. Not going to get too many more chances now. Batty. And blocked for now. Well, this forthcoming corner might just do it. Could be their last chance to hit the front in the dying moments. Let's see about the delivery. It comes to absolutely nothing. Clark. Good looking ball. Delivered into the area here. Foiling them effectively. Five minutes remaining then, and the score sheet remains blank. Camps. Has a go. Oh, they've done it! They forged ahead, and it might be the goal that gives them victory. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Well, this 
this is far from over. We're going to have five minutes of stoppage time. Not the best clearance. Well, they survived the attack. Morton. Nicely timed tackle. Well, play stopped. It is a free kick. And he's clear as lines. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Well, Derek, what a good finish to the game that was. They just wore down the opposition, and in the end, they got their reward. That's a really good win for them.